Hello party people, I'm at Goodwill today. We're gonna go thrifting together. It's about that time, am I right? It's the new year, new clothes. I have a million things that I should probably be prioritizing over this, but I feel like sometimes you have to put thrifting first. <laughs> I really just need some workout clothes. That's what I'm gonna focus on. Also need just some loungy around the house things to wear. And you guys know my wardrobe is consists of like 90% of thrifted items. I would dare even say like 98%, even my underwear. That's enough of that. Let's go inside and see what Goodwill has. We only have about four hours till they close, so we have to make this quick. Oh, still Christmas, cool. You guys know my top spot to go to are the two piece. <gasps> two pieces? Oh my gosh, maybe I'll find a two piece vintage workout outfit. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those like jump jumpsuits? What are they called? Track suits. Okay, that, this is what drew, drew my attention in. This yellow number. What is this? Oh, it's really catching my eyeballs. Remember that yellow number that was giving us like full house vibes? I will forever have nightmares about that. Nightmares in the best way. Like, oh, I wish I would have bought that, but I wasn't in the right frame of mind because I can't, ooh, like look at this number. I wasn't in the right frame of mind uh, when I was trying that on because they were closing and I was rushed. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, are they on this side too? Stop it. Stop it right now. Who wore this on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the mom? Oh, where was this when I needed a Christmas outfit? Oh my gosh, wait, I see something over here. <gasps> Don't mine eyes deceive me. Well, first of all, the dresses. Do I need a dress? Uh, debatable. I would say probably not, but how can I not look through them, you know? Ooh, look how fun, oh, a stain, all oh, rats. Ooh, look how nice this is. That's pretty cute. Six dollars, six dollars for a dang dress. Okay, where were my eyes drawn before? I saw a purse. I'm in need of like a newish purse. I like this style, but I like to have a crossbody um, strap. That one's nice too. Okay, I guess. No purse for Kim today. <laughs> okay, first of all, I've been looking at the go backs. Take a peek on this beautiful dress. Sadly, it's not my size, but $6. Oh man. I found this while looking through the go backs too. It is a dress, can you tell? Sadly, it's not my size, but I wanted to share. Ooh, okay, they are selling this for a little more. $17, but it is new with tags. Still has the extra buttons. And this is what someone paid for it. They got it on sale for, hmm, debatable. What is that, $39.99? Originally $80. What a steal someone's gonna get when they snag that. Oh my gosh, hold on, out of the corner of my stinking eye, I see something I might like. This is why I can't go shopping. I just get so sidetracked everywhere I go. I mean, are these cute or are these cute? Kind of giving me MC Hammer vibes. Oh man, I really want some, I really want some pants. Oh no, these are MC Hammer vibes. What is this? You wearing a diaper? Oh, that is for a special buyer right there. Okay, should I go through the pants? I do, ooh, these are cute. The problem is I really like these. That's not the problem. The problem is I don't really wear them. I like a good cropped. Uh, pan okay, these might work. All right, well, I've abandoned my cart. I see yellow. I'm kind of drawn to colors. Carrie Bradshaw is getting to me. And also, you know what else? Ooh, these feel really nice. What am I here for? <laughs> uh, oh, remember that pink skirt I found? Maybe they still have it. I doubt they do. In my dreams, they still have it. So I'm definitely gonna uh, keep my eyes peeled for it. Ooh, I like this color. Ooh, these are leggings. Ooh, they're buttery soft. I bet you they're LuLaRoe. Okay, I don't need any leggings unless they're workout leggings with pockets. We're not gonna sacrifice, okay? We're gonna get 
Oh gosh, sorry. We're gonna we're gonna make sure we have pockets in our workout gear. <gasps> I really like these. Oh wow. All right. I have a feeling I'm never ever going to wear those burgundy pants that I just picked up and put in my cart. I should probably, <gasps> ooh, a yellow number. Oh, it is a two piece. I love that. Oh my gosh, and look at that skirt. Man, it's not for me, but someone is gonna find that and love it. Look at that boho. I think that these couple things have been here for a while. Oh, here it is. Here's the tracksuit we've been looking for. Is this thing new with tags too? What do you mean to tell me no one wore this? Hold on, did that just say 100% silk? All right, definitely don't work out in that. <laughs> don't listen to me. Oh my word. Peek on this, you can wear that to church. Oh man, where's my size? I'm seeing all these amazing things. Sadly, they are not in my size. Ooh, this number too. It's like mother of the bride style. All right, give me something I can use here. Oh, did we see that one? I like it, I like it. Ooh, like that one. Like, how could you come to the thrift store and not look at the two piece? Hold on a second, what is this? This is absolutely beautiful. And look at this, another beauty. This is what I don't love. Like you have to pay, I mean, I guess it makes sense to pay for both of the pieces, but also, come on, man, give me a break. If that was my size, I would 1000% try that on. You know what, vintage sizes do run big. All right, let's keep browsing. Ooh, purple, always a good one. Ooh, this periwinkle color, it's very in right now. Ooh, hold on, I like that. Hold on a second, Liz Claiborne Sport. All right, what kind of sport am I playing in this? Not even tennis, I'm just saying. Is that just their way of saying like casual? All right, I'll give it a try. You got me, Liz Claiborne. Ooh, maybe? Maybe the coat goes with that. No, I don't think so. Ooh, fashion. Oh my gosh, speaking of fashion, a crop top? That doesn't look vintage to me. I don't know, I like it though. Ooh, trench coat style. All right, let's see if I can find anything amazing. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, I just found it. <laughs> we didn't have to look very long. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, should I try this on anyway? This is absolutely incredible. The pants, you guys, unreal. Can you imagine if this ended up in a landfill? Please, someone come buy that. <gasps> I'm crying. Yep, crying, that's what I came for. That is exactly what I came for. Still not my size, but hopefully maybe I can sew it. I won't sew it, I'll do something. This is definitely a workout number. Heck yeah, it is, Nike. Someone just dipped it here. Oh my gosh, I would never wear this to work out. This is like, I'm in prep school and I'm playing tennis and I need a nice little workout. This is incredible. You know what, maybe I will work out in it. I won't. I like the idea of it. Oh my gosh, someone's gonna be so friggin' excited when they find that. Okay, le suit. I love a good le suit and look at the detail down here. Oh man, that's a purple le suit. I've been looking for a purple le suit. I really, oh, oh, for a second I thought those were pants. Almost, but not quite. Ooh, yes, check out the leopard. Man, I think you like a woman. Ooh, this is a medium. Ooh, <laughs> so fancy. After dark, yes. <laughs> It's the only acceptable time to wear that many sequins. Now this is a three-piece suit. Yes, please. <gasps> St. Patrick's Day? I do need an outfit. Aw, oh, it got me. It is not a three-piece. I mean, I thought it was a two-piece. Is it a two-piece? What's happening right here? Oh my gosh, it's a dress, a maxi dress with a top. All right, that's pretty cool. Not for me though. Still thinking on this yellow number. I'll never wear it. I just really, really missed out on that yellow number from before. Now this looks casual, yes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice before. This is a two piece as well. Someone missed, lost a shoe. <laughs> oh wow, look at this one. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. Well, that's about it. This is cool, but not cool enough, okay? <laughs> oh, here's the other shoe. We gotta put them together, okay? I wish I knew where the top was to that. 
Ooh, a black nut. Oh, well, that looks like a sports bra to me. I don't think I can squeeze my birthing hips into this skirt. Oh, this is cute too. Is it though? Yeah, it looks like it's from Kohl's. Ooh, I really like this. If only it were like a size bigger. I don't think my bum will fit into these. My cheeks will be hanging out. It's not a good look. This is though, oh, that is a fun look. It's heavy, too heavy for Florida. Oh man, should I save it? I mean, it will get cold at least one more day here. I'm re oh my gosh, look at this cute little pea coat. Cute little pea coat from black and white. I will never wear that. What, what am I gonna wear that with leggings? I don't wear stuff like that, but here I go anyway. At the thrift store, you can be anyone, right? I'm really digging on this. Well, first of all, the pink, yes, please. So, oh man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's necessary to sing that song every time you see leopard print, right? This is giving me Beetlejuice vibes, like sophisticated Beetlejuice. Uh, anyway, I'm really happy about the finds that I have found so far. Hold on, 70s go-go. Is it missing a button? Oh, it has the button. I will literally never wear that, but in my dreams I will. All right, which one if you if you had to pick one? <laughs> I like the collar of this one. It's like Peter Pan collar, you know? Uh, okay, I don't even know why I'm looking in the blazers. I am not a blazer kind of gal. Should be looking in. Ooh, maybe I'll find my yellow two-piece set over here. It's gone. I know it's gone, you guys. This is actually really nice. <laughs> what color tag is on sale? Orange? Uh, oh, I always forget. Hey, this is on sale 50% off. I'll never wear it. Look at that. Man, I feel like a woman. That's nice. Oh my gosh. It's actually really nice. And it's new with tags. Hold on a freaking second. Someone paid $78 for this. Well, I guess we can give it a whirl, <laughs> even though this is more my style right here. Ooh, actually, if I was a businesswoman, that's the kind of businesswoman I would be. Okay. Oh, <gasps> found it. Oh, yes. Yes, I could. Hello. Someone will be so happy that I'm doing the Lord's work over here, keeping two piece sets together. Well, now I kind of want this one. I mean, are you kidding me right now? woman across the room five dollars for the skirt seven dollars for the top oh no the butt oh the button's not missing hold up that is so beautiful i hope someone finds that loves it wears it every day for the rest of their lives uh sadly it will not be me but i feel like that's the reason i was looking over here you know because really what other reason do i have to look in the blazer section i think this totally fits into the casual motif i'm going for it's an orange tag um, I think I love this as a matter of fact. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep that. <laughs> oh my word, I almost forgot. I am on the hunt for a grandpa looking sweater. This is kind of it, but not quite. You know, ooh, what is that, Cinderella? Um, so remind me to keep my eyes peeled for a grandpa sweater. It's actually really nice. I've made it to the dress section now and I've actually picked out a few gems. I know this is not where I need to be, but I had to share this with you, a Nike. I mean, yes, technically it is workout gear. So this is exactly where I need to be. Like this is vintage. They don't even, what? What year was this made? I love this, every bit of it. I love you like a woman. Hey, are you going anywhere for New Year's? Me neither. Uh, we can sit at home, watch the ball drop together, get dressed up. I mean, I'd, I'd rather wear sweatpants. Okay, I found a lot of things, a lot of things. Some of which I need to discuss with you. So I remember seeing this dress in Target, like brand new, right? Now I'm at the thrift store and it's $6 and I'm like, is that an orange tag? I don't know, red or orange, it's hard to decipher for me. Am I colorblind? Yet to be determined, I don't think so. Holy crap, take a peek on this. This is, de okay, that's definitely an orange tag. Now that I see it against an orange, this is a gem. How is this still here? You know what? I'm gonna try it on. <laughs> I'm not gonna have time to try all this crap on. Anyway, now that I'm here, I'm thinking, why am I gonna buy this when there are so many cooler things here at the thrift store like this? And this. And this. 
and my pretty woman dress. <laughs> and this totally 90s, definitely not gonna fit over my body. Okay, but for real, how can I not get this? Like, look, at, first of all, it has pockets. Yes, please. And flamingo. I feel like I, it was made for me, right? <laughs> um, this is a problem. I have not even gone to the, like, casual section yet or athletic wear. <laughs> Actually, I feel kind of sad that I'm leaving this behind. Oh, oh man. I feel you, Mac. I'm in the t-shirt section now, and I always get bored in this section. I need, like, neutrals, like white shirt, black shirt, cream shirt, whatever. Tell me why I want this. I don't know. Watermelon, that's why. I've been running into a lot of workout tanks as I'm going through the shirts. Does that mean they're like mixed in? This is nice. Ooh, Calvin Klein, wow. A little too fancy for me. Does that mean the workout stuff is mixed in with the normal clothes? Because that's gonna be a problem. My, I feel you like a woman. Let's go girls. <laughs> oh, that is. Risque. Oh, I love this color, H&M. Casual. Think casual, Kim. Am I going to wear it? And the way I think of casual is like, could I wear that to bed if I needed to? <laughs> is this a dress? All right, I guess I'll just let you browse with me. Tell me if you see anything like cute. Like, this is okay. I can do without that tie in the front. I think it just adds bulk. You know, like where I don't need to add any bulk. Ooh, loft. I'm really drawn to loft, but not my size. Which is ironic because the Goodwill is sorted by size. But, you know, blood sweat wad. That's like a CrossFit term, right? Ooh, <laughs> I'm going out tonight, feeling all right. I mean, it's the law. You have to do it. This is nice too, but again, that tie out of style oh another workout shirt i thought they had a whole workout section over there i don't know maybe they don't i'm just kidding myself oh that's okay kind of looks like scrubs though not my ideal of comfort <gasps> for fourth of july yes i actually really like this i would sweat in that during fourth of july though you know I always enjoy a good graphic tee. You never know what it's going to say. Oh my gosh, is that a dress? Risque. That's a workout. Hey, hold on. That's kind of heavy though. It'll make me sweat twice as much. Could be a good thing. Oh, this is kind of cute. See? Oh, it's an orange tag from Forever 21. You know it's going to fall apart tomorrow. Another workout tank. I'm telling you right now. That's okay. No, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Oh my gosh, I used to have this. Oh my gosh, is this the one I used to have? I used to tie it like that <laughs> too. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of dig it. Oh, it's missing a tag. How much is it? I'll never know. It's cute. I actually think mine had thicker straps. I quite like this one more. All right, what's down here? Nothing good. I'm finding a lot of this brand, uh, White House Black Market. All right. Let's keep on sifting. You have to sift through everything to find the gems, right? That's just the name of the game. Ooh, a bodysuit, and it's an orange tag. Yeah. I don't know, how do we feel about bodysuits? I have one. It's okay. Ooh, Coach Haley and the Dolphins. See, this is the kind of stuff I love. I hate wearing these shirts though, working out. I feel so hot. I feel like I'm suffocating. Ooh, this is cutesy. Oh, it's from Sheen. Of course it's cutesy, wootsy. I don't have a bra to wear with this. I like it though. All right, anything else? Ooh, actually, I like that. I mean, I don't really, but it's we're on the right track here. I like a good yellow. Ooh, the boho vibes of the white one. Oh, look, someone bought that brand new and then just brought it to the Goodwill. <gasps> Ooh, I like this one. I told you I'm looking for staples. I wouldn't really call this a comfort piece. <laughs> I wouldn't want to sleep in that. Maybe I should just go to the pajama section. Okay, what else? Mm, nothing. I always, uh, I always like looking on the ends. This is where, you know, people just throw stuff back up here. This is actually a whole vibe. I really like that. <gasps> oh my.
my gosh, this is what I mean. Like, where are you gonna find this? You're not gonna find this in Target, man. That is the keeper for sure, 1,000%. Anything else good over here? What else did they pick out? Maybe over here. All right, I feel like we lucked out with that shirt. Ooh, a crappie toppy. <laughs> Gonna let it all hang out. How about this one? Nah, pass on that. Ooh, this one kind of looks like a peacock. <gasps> and it's an orange tag. Well, it does not scream comfort, but it does scream, I am going to work. Oh, this is kind of cute. It's like a boxy top. I'm, I quite like that. It feels a little heavy though. What else fell down here? Oh, someone is out for White House Black Market, man. That's actually really nice. Reminds me of the 90s. Oh, here's a gray shirt. Like, why does that have a security tag on it? Because it's from Banana Repub. Like, how do I know if this is an orange tag? You know what I mean? Yeah, $8 for a comfort piece. I'll pass. This is okay. It's a new day. How do we feel about this? $5 pass on that, not real special. Oh, more workout tanks. Not that I'm annoyed to see them because that's what I came for, but what on earth is this, a bodysuit? Oh, is that what it is? Oh, it actually is. All right, well, that's, that's something. I quite like that. This is what I like, super lightweight, feels like I'm wearing nothing, but also covers me up. Oh, this is a biker shirt. Not quite ready for my triathlon. Wanna make some noise. Okay, well, I definitely have to pare some of this down for someone who did not want to go to the t-shirt section. I sure found a lot. Let's see if we can find a grandpa sweater now. You know what I'm talking about. You know the style. I'm just gonna drift down these parts. Oh, look, a t-shirt. Might be too small. Oh my gosh, I just moved the whole dang thing. All right, I'm gonna sift through. See, this is where I thought the uh, workout tanks were. Hey, but it's just t-shirts and stuff. So I'll show you if I find anything fun and interesting. I just, I can't look at in this section anymore. It's packed so tightly. It's just hard to see anything that's in it. You know what I mean? So let's avert our eyes. Oh my gosh, is it down here? Is this it? Is this the sweater we've been looking for? Almost, but not quite. Definitely on the brink of grandpa-esque. All right, so let's go through these sweaters, see if we find anything. Like, that's pretty, but here's the thing, <laughs> obviously. I don't need a sweater. I live in Florida. Like, that's really pretty. What, is, what do they call that, a poncho? Something like that. Ooh, this is pretty too. It's just so sad. Oh, this is from Thread Up. Ooh, I love Thread Up. It was Express. Goodwill's trying to sell it for nine bucks. Ooh, it's thick and nice and bright white, no stains. This is really nice too. It says, I want long sleeves, but I don't want to be hot. Okay, Argyle. I'm taking up the whole aisle here. I gotta, gotta go fast. If I find anything like dark green, ooh, this is not dark green, but it sure is pretty. Okay, I don't need it, <laughs> but it's pretty. Grandpa sweater, grandpa sweater, grandpa sweater. Ooh, this is definitely something. Look at this balloon sleeve, Fashion Nova for sure. All right, what's over here? And well, that, a grandpa would definitely wear that sweater. Not what I was hoping to find. All right, let's see. We still have hope over here. There's still hope. Is there a men's section of sweaters? I don't even know. I know there's a men's section. I doubt they're gonna put a cool grandpa sweater in the men's section though, you know? I'll go look for it after this. I mean, aside from grandpa sweater, I'm not really finding anything that great anyway. Huh, all right. Definitely no cheetah print anymore. What happened to all the cheetahs? Okay, well, there's that. That was disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, this is pretty. That's really nice, I like the color. Oh, what does that say? Surf in a sweater? 
Goodwill has put out all of the swimsuits. Not that I need one. I feel like I found a pretty good one last year. Like, where is, what does that say, Bay Squad? Yeah, not me. Where's the rest of it? I need full bum coverage. That's what I need. Ooh, PJs are on the other side. Let's hit it up. Wanna make some noise, really raise my voice. Yeah, wanna scream and shout. The best thing about being a woman is the prerogative to have a little fun. Fun, fun. I've always wanted to be the gal that wore, like, put real pajamas. Like, that's so pretty. Not me, though, man. I wear, like, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I wear that day, I'm wearing a bed. That's really nice. I would sweat all night long in that. Oh, my gosh. Someone even had their it, this embroidered. And then they just donated it. What? Oh, look at that. Sweet two-piece set. Pants and a long sleeve. Oh, my gosh. Cruella de Vil, is that you? I don't know. Maybe I'll find my perfect two-piece set. I feel like I bought one one time, and then I ended up returning it. It was from, like, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. Ooh, Batman run? Wow, that's pretty nice. Check this out if you ever need a robe. Like, what? This is so vintage. I think I'm in love. It is so incredibly heavy. $4 for this? If you felt it, you would know how quality this thing is. But I'm telling you, if you ever need a robe or anything, ah, come to the thrift store because they have so much. They have so many. Oh my gosh, what is that? A hood? Like, check that out. Where are you going to find that in the store? I mean, surely you'll find it somewhere, but I'm just saying. The prices here are unbeatable. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at this. This is a nursing tank. Do you know how much these are? Ooh, this is brand new with tag. You know what's funny is I never wore mine either. $4. Honest to goodness, this is $20 in the store, man. Someone's going to be really happy when they find that. Okay, I finally made it to the pants. The workout pants, I think. Are these all workout pants or like leggings and stuff? Oh boy, I guess we'll just pick a spot and, and go from there. What did I say before? Ooh, these look comfortable. <laughs> Loungy pants. I'm only going to buy some if they have pockets. Ooh, these have pockets. Don't like those though. These look nice. And I like to look for the brand because you never know what you're going to find here. Oh my gosh. What? $8? I bet you these brand new because anything that's like sports related is so dang expensive. These look fun. These look fun, right? I don't know, I'm not really into all the prints. Watch, I'm gonna end up with like something so printy. Honestly, what I'm looking for is maybe a bright color, maybe, ooh, these have pockets. Ooh, these look, okay, those look comfortable. Maybe an olive, maybe. Maybe I'm just looking for sweatpants because these look really nice too. What brand is that? Oh, South Pole. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, those look fun. I don't really know what I'm looking for, honestly. Those look nice. I don't know. I want to be able to do squats and have people not be able to see my granny panty underwear because I definitely work out with underwear on. Ooh, four dollar skirt. I thought it was bike shorts. I was at Target. Well, I was at the Target website online <laughs> looking for, um, you know, workout clothes. And my gosh, everything is just so pricey. I thought, well, let me go to the thrift store before I buy anything new, you know, see what I can find. And like, these are $4. Workout pants for $4. But Target wants to sell them for who the heck knows how much, a lot. I'm looking for that. I think that's Dan skin, but I am crying right now. I can't believe I didn't notice this. Remember the tank top I picked up earlier? It, there, that's the matching set of pants. I want to run back up to Goodwill. Oh, I'm upset I didn't pick up that set. It would be a dream if I found some Fabletics leggings here. When I was at the thrift store with one of my cousins during the summertime, she found a pair of purple Fabletics pants and I wanted to cry. They were her color. I mean, they were her size. <laughs> they were the color I was wanting, but they were her size. She got them and I love them. These look loungy too. Oh my gosh, they're Nike. $4 for some Nike gaucho pants. These aren't 
actual gaucho pants, but okay. I've seen enough. All right, let me get back to it. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, how she found freaking Fabletics pants. Can you even believe it? Arrow ready. Is that like Aeropostal? Ooh, these are like velvet. Definitely not for working out, but I can dig it. Oh, I like these too. These are fun. They might be too small. I'm a medium in workout stuff. I don't know, I'll try it on. I just said I want a dark color to cover my bum when I'm doing squats and stuff, but here I am. Active Old Navy. Old Navy has some really nice active stuff. So I was looking for bike shorts. I, I don't know, there's so many options. I didn't know what to pick, so I ended up getting nothing. Those look nice too, I like this color. All right, I guess I'll try that on. I like a good blush tone. Oh my gosh, look, pugs on the bottom of this one. <laughs> I actually have Old Navy leggings that I love, uh, but they I wanna say they were over $30 when I got them on sale. I might be off on that a little bit, maybe $30 without a sale, but either way, I remember thinking, ugh, this is a lot, but I needed leggings. I bought them a couple of years ago and they're still going strong. Ooh, those are like, under skirt Ooh. Ooh. ah the green color but not a huge fan of like the detail i'll give them a try I'll give them a shot Ooh, under armor it's a great brand a lot of these are capri style i'm noticing oh my gosh wait what is this a jumpsuit to work out in this is amazing wow i didn't know anything like that existed I've been out of the gym for too long. Is that what people are wearing now? <laughs> Not me, okay? Not me. Ooh, I like these. Little floral with the dark. Why aren't I putting it in the cart? Oh, probably because I don't have room. These are decent too. I like the pop of yellow. I even think um, Amazon has some really good quality leggings as well. But again, I'm trying to avoid spending, you know, $25, $30. If I don't find anything here, then that's an option, but I'd like to look here first. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow. These look really nice and loungy too. Ooh, Nike dry fit. I have a literal cart full. Uh, my mind hurts just thinking about trying all this stuff on, so I'm definitely going to go through it and try to pare it down. Oh, look, all these. Um... <gasps> Is my grandpa sweater over here? What is this, dinosaur? Or are these just workout jackets and stuff? Huh, all right, well, what is this, a bathing suit over here? Someone's trying to hide it. I'm gonna come back for that. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually really nice. Adidas windbreaker. Uh, ooh, oh wow, this is really nice too. What, someone's hiding stuff away over here? Oh no, this is a sweater. That's a nice sweater. Why am I so impressed, it's literally has nothing on it. Cats, naps, and snacks. Now that is a nice sweater. Yes, please. That's really funny. Cats, naps, and snacks. Describe yourself in three words. <laughs> Before I walk in the home goods section, these are all the shirts that I picked out to try on. These are like my casual and workout tops. So I'm just gonna go through these. Like, surely I don't need all of them <laughs> you know what i mean i really like that one for whatever reason i think it's like reminds me of a couch i want to be like a couch <laughs> okay i did an okay job of paring my things down these are all the things that i'm gonna pass on and move on with my life that's really cute but oh well uh all right time to go to the home goods section Okay, I put all of those clothes back, by the way, like where they belong. Um, wow, is this purse made for me? $7? Does it have a crossbody? No, sad to report. It is really cute though. What about, what? like what is this? Is this indoor, outdoor? Can I put plants on it? Is it a desk? I don't know, I'm kind of confused, man. Oh my gosh, leftover Christmas gifts also known as Mother's Day gifts or Valentine's Day gifts. Oh, that's right. I need to head to, oh, look at this perfect plant table. $6 for this? That's really nice. $6 is a great price for that. I need to run to like Target and see if they have anything on clearance. I normally do like 
the leftover stocking stuffers. It's a perfect Valentine's Day gift for the kiddos. Check out this vintage sewing table. Absolutely incredible. Hold on, there are so many gems to unpack here. Do you see this chair? Let's guess that price, $8. It's unreal, do you see the other chairs? Oh my gosh, that stool. Oh, it's a tall stool. I'm sure I could use that somewhere. <laughs> but the prices here are unreal. Oh look, two matching stools right there. Do we need stools anywhere? I don't think so. Um, people try to sell stools. Oh, look at that little baby chair. $3, $3 for that. On Facebook Marketplace, people try to sell stuff for like $700 for that. You know what I mean? And you're like, okay, really? Like, uh, so if you're in need of a timeout chair, oh my gosh, look at this Ikea desk. Incredible, man. Mine actually, haha, <laughs> funny story, not so funny. Oh my gosh, it's double-sided. Check it out. Cha, 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 check it out. Shelves on this side. Oh, maybe this is the back. No, shelves on this side too, you guys. Um, how much is this? Because Eleanor is actually needing a desk and I am needing to go to Ikea, but I can kill two birds with one stone here. Also, my desk just broke, so that's real fun. Wow, I'm gonna see how much this is. I'm gonna try to find someone anyway. But in the meantime, ooh, beach chairs. Wow, this looks like a nice beach chair for $8. Bet you someone paid an arm and a leg for this, man. Look, another beach chair right there. Actually, there's a bunch of them. Look at this, a puppet stand. Okay, so this is $15, but can you see it? Look, it's a little puppet theater. Look how cute that would be for the playroom. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. So darling. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so I just sifted through some of the artwork and always fantastic prices here. For the frames alone, people spend an arm and a leg, like a five piece of canvases for $5. Incredible. I should probably get these for Eleanor. Um, but aside from that, I didn't see any artwork that was like really standing out to me that I needed to share with you. This one's pretty cool. But they do have a ton of like little frames. And I was thinking like maybe come here instead of going to the store. Like look at this, someone bought this for $3. Goodwill wants to sell it for two bucks. So save yourself some trouble going to a box store. You know what I mean? What about that? Oh, Thanksgiving? Yes, please. That one looks, oh wait. Oh yeah, it looks brand new. <laughs> I was gonna say, does someone leave their picture in here? Sometimes you can find gems here. Look, this one is still in the box. You know what, maybe someone gifted it to them. Two bucks, it's from Kohl's. How much was it at Kohl's? $13. Well, you know how Kohl's always does like half off of everything. So many of them are still like in the box. So I don't know, I feel like that's pretty awesome. I don't know if I was just filming. Look, I found this wood ring toss for $5. Comes in a cute little bag. That's a cute outdoor toy. I'm really looking for some croquet, like a croquet set. What's here? Oh, volleyball, that could be fun. Oh my gosh, a schwinn. What is this, a bike pump? Oh wow, oh wow, yes. These are like workout tools. Helmets in here. Don't know what that is. What is that? Some kind of fitness, some fitness ball. Is that a massager for your back or something? I don't know. Ooh, magic cloths as seen on TV. Wow. Oh my gosh, there are weights in here. What? That, that's a proper bar and weights. Crazy. What's in here? Oh my gosh, a camping chair. Do you know they had all this stuff? Look what else they have. A bunch of luggage. <laughs> I was gonna say lunch boxes, uh oh. It's got the eyes of death from someone. Um, a balance board, these are great. $8 though, Goodwill, come on. We can do better than that, can't we? Uh, this is cool too. Looks brand new, this has a brand new. All right, let's move on, let's move on to the kitchen stuff. Okay, new year, time to organize. Get all the boxes, all the baskets, all the, uh, ooh, a hanging. Oh, wait a second. What on earth is this contraption? Is that like a picnic basket? Uh, no thank you to the picnic baskets, but, oh my gosh, measuring spoons? 
They're ceramic. I'll break those in a second. Okay, what am I looking for? I don't know. <laughs> Kitchen stuff. Lots of baskets to organize. Way cheaper than home goods. I'm just saying, look at all this. They usually have more baskets. I feel like people have been in here snatching them up, getting ready for the new year. <gasps> Band-Aids. Are there actually Band-Aids in there? Bummer. Oh my gosh, there's no one in this aisle. Seems wild. Uh, I feel like when I came last time, when was it? October, late October, early November, everyone and their mom was here. Oh my gosh, are they about to close? I hope not, man. I still have all, all that crap to try on. Wow, sealed with a kiss. She's beautiful. Ooh, I could dig this. Actually, I'm not, ooh, this is from Ikea, $4. Hey, I need a fruit bowl. I don't know, I'll think on that. What is this? Oh, I thought that was like, it might be a jewelry box or something. Or maybe to store silverware. I literally have no idea. This is catching my eye. Oh, it's like their picture for first, second grade, third grade, through the years, if you will. Um, I don't see any, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, I feel like so much dust is here. <coughs> oh, once I start, I can't stop. Eleanor has this exact thing. Should I get her a matching one? <gasps> Eleanor needs something to hold papers and folders and stuff for her desk. Oh, would this would be fun. This is from Ikea too, but I think someone made it over $3. I don't know if she'll like that. I, I don't know. I like it. I can't sneeze in public nowadays, you know what I mean? Okay, sometimes I find some pretty cool mugs. Not today, tell you that much. Check it out, a relic. Look, remember when we had iPods to attach onto there? Oh, how far we've come in such a short amount of time. Oh my gosh, is this a karaoke machine? $13, unreal. What does this make? I love a good dash machine. <gasps> what does this make? I don't know, man, but it looks like, yeah, it's definitely been used. What can I make in here, an omelet? I'm gonna look it up. Ooh, what else is here? Ooh, a quesadilla. A teeny tiny little dipper. I need little crock pots, but like not that little, you know? Also, do I actually need a crock pot? That answer is no. Hey, did I donate my ice cream machine? I hope I didn't. I have <laughs> I have uh, big plans for my ice cream machine. Oh, a fondue set? That is fancy schmance. Look at all those lamps. Let's see if we find anything cool. Wait, what on earth is this? There's another one. A singing machine for seven bucks, but guess what's down there? A singing machine for seven bucks. Okay, anything over here? Oh, look at that cooler, yes. But I see a clock. Space vampire, wow. Ooh, this is, this is actually a pretty cool clock. It's really nice. Ooh, I like this one too. Looks like it's from Michaels or something. Three bucks for that. Okay, do we see anything else, anything cool? Oh, look, a little crock pot. It is bigger than the other one. Oh, is this a rice maker? Check out this singing machine. Dude, this is on Amazon for like 160 bucks. Okay, let's see down here. Eh, pass. So much glassware. I found this mirror. I think it's broken. Um, it would be great to hang up. I love different shapes mirrors. <laughs> I'm trying to like not show you me, but it's double-sided. So I, I think it was like a, like a bathroom mirror, you know? or a vanity mirror, makeup mirror. I don't know what you want to call it. Look at this teapot. Oh, that is beautiful. I know some people collect teapots. Is that right? I saw something over here. Oh, this dish. Oh, this dish. Wait, is this for food or jewelry and stuff? I don't know, man. Look at this, a soap dish. This is the one I need. I don't need that one, but I like to have like more serving platters few of mine broke. That's really nice. A little too big for my liking. Ooh, it's almost Easter, isn't it? What, carrots and celery you put on here? Why, is all I want to ask? Why? Anything else that's worth our time and attention? This is something I have not seen before. Is this a crock pot bowl? But it has a divider. You can put two separate things in there. It's actually very handy. Check it. 
If you want Easter stuff, you have to start shopping now. That's a cute platter. How much is it? $2 for this. Let's see. Oh, someone bought it for eight bucks from Walmart. Okay, that's a deal. Ooh, hold on, I quite like this bowl down here. Let's try to get to it. Okay, here it is, $6. I don't know the brand or anything, but um, it has two stickers on it. That's odd, I, something you don't see every day at the Goodwill. Usually it's one sticker or none. Yeah, okay, I like this one better than, oh wait, is that a chip? Nope. I like that one better than this one. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath from getting that bowl out. Oh, it's a sad day, you guys. <laughs> it's a sad day. <gasps> Look, I think I told you I had a chance to get a whole set of these with the lids and everything. This is three bucks. And I passed on it. I was just, you know, not in the mood that day. Oh, look, there's another one right here. Just a little vintage bowl. Ooh, there's another little vintage bowl. Hold on. This one needs a little cleaning up. $4? Oh, wait, it's orange. Is that orange or yellow? I'm having a hard time. Someone else is having a hard time. You hear him? Look, here's another Easter plate. <laughs> All right, hold on. <gasps> Oh, look, another uh, little deviled egg platter. It's like a personal serving, right? We need more than that. Check it, another teapot. Oh my gosh, do you hear them? They're not happy, okay? Not happy about it. I feel like someone who resells is gonna find these and be like, jackpot, a set of stuff. And then that looks, I don't know, it looks like something. What is this, a pie dish over here? Well, good news and bad news, I've made it to the dressing room. Bad news is all the hooks are broken except for one and I have about 7 million things to try on and I'm running out of time because there was a line and I had to wait for the dressing room. So let's do this as fast as we can. Priority items first. <laughs> I put some things back while I was waiting for a dressing room. Obviously this is a number that I did not want to put back. Check out these bell bottoms. It's like the color, the style, the fit. It screams 70 and it is not for me, honey. Remember these pants that I picked up in the beginning? I love how they fit at the leg, um, but the pocket situation, like what is happening with the pockets? There's nothing in them. Oh wait, maybe I just need to fix it. Nope, still bows out. <laughs> uh, I also, I don't really know if I like this shirt either. Maybe it's just the pants. Like from afar, it looks okay. It's like a Monet. I said I came for loungewear. What? This is loungy and it is wary. Um, why did I pick this up? Now this is a 70s style I can get behind. I actually, uh, looking at the tag and like feeling it and stuff, I don't think it's vintage at all. It's just a two-piece set and it is fun, but um, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Am I gonna regret this one? <laughs> Probably. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to tell you, when I was waiting to come into the dressing room, I was going through the go back rack, among other things, and I found these. Wow, guess what guys, they're Fabletics leggings. What? Fabletics. Oh, leggings, unreal. They're a little puckered in the back, so I don't know, I don't know. But I do like this shirt, and I do like the color of these. I think this is a yes outfit. That's what I like about it, you. I came here for loungy stuff. This is definitely something I would wear at home, but definitely not something that's flattering. What is, like, what is happening here? The, oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. It's just too tight. What happened? I thought, oh, these will be flattering. Maybe I just have them too high. Camel Toe Central over here. The shirt is not doing me any favors. I don't know, what do you, like the pants are okay. <laughs> not really, not really at all. I don't know, I can't get over this. Why does it look so awful? <laughs> but they do feel nice. I almost put this back while I was waiting in line. I'm so glad that I didn't. I mean, this is the ultimate in comfort and style. Pockets and a dress. It's like a moo moo, but it's cute. Make it fashion. <laughs> I don't even think I have to say it, but I will anyway. This is a yes. 
These pants look and feel much better. Um, wow, they feel so comfortable. It's amazing. They're not LuLaRoe, but they feel buttery soft. What? Uh, and this shirt is a definite yes. I think it's loft. It's like three bucks. So relaxed. I was actually really happy to find this one because it is Bulls. It's USF and um, it's a workout tank. It's actually really cute and I bet you it was really expensive. Uh, brand new. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not like a, I don't know. Do you like it? <laughs> I don't really like it. It's not like, oh wow, I really like this. You know what I mean? I don't know. These are cute in theory, but um, I'm gonna have to pass. I like the workout tank, but the bottoms are a no for me. Oh my gosh, they do have pockets though. Oh man, maybe for yoga? All right, how do you, what about if I'm walking to yoga class? Like, hey guys, namaste and all that. Anyone have some essential oil spray for my yoga mat? That's how I walk into yoga class. <laughs> uh, yeah, I still don't like them. I love them, but not for me. First of all, this song is so inappropriate. Can you even see the difference? The top I have on is skin tight. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. The bottoms oh, somehow like are too loose here. I don't know, they just feel weird. I love the color. This whole thing, this whole thing is just not working for me. Not going to yoga class in this, okay? Come on kids, it's time to go to the library. That's how I feel in this. I love it, but I'm not gonna get it. I really love it. <laughs> so the problem with leggings like this is that um, how do people wear underwear with them? I don't know, I love the color, but I don't know, especially through the camera. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. From yoga class to evening wear, you guys know we always have 17 weddings to go to. Um, little detail up top is nice. I really like the color. It's like a hunter green color in the baby doll style. Very flattering, I feel like. Um, yeah, I really like this. I don't know who I thought I was when I picked this dress out. It's not me. <laughs> now this is what I came to the thrift store for. A beautiful vintage piece. Can like, do you see the shoulder pads? But oh, is it missing a button? No, I mean, is it? I don't think so. I think we have all the buttons going. Nice neckline. I don't have a vintage body, so I feel like I don't know. I feel like that looks nice, right? Okay, class, listen up. Mm, take out your notebooks and uh, pencils and whatnot. <laughs> I love this. I would probably never wear it. I mean, I could wear it to Costco. Oh boy, I had really high hopes for this dress. Look how flowy it is and beautiful and boho and dreamy and creamy. Um, I think it's a little bit see-through. Otherwise, I really, really like it. Just live out my boho dreams real quick. All right, I'm done. Um, I have no words. Um... I think this is the most flattering jumpsuit I've ever put on my body. I love the color. I love the length. It doesn't like cut me up the middle. You know what I mean? The top is nice. What? Could, and it has pockets. Could this be a winner? Oh wow, my hair. What is happening? Also, not too tight around this area. This is comfort level 10. Done. Hold on though, can we style it up for date night? Do I have to button it for you to give you the full effect or can you use your imagination? This is a big N-O for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I broke my hand trying to grab all of the clothes out. Oh my gosh, I definitely, ah, I definitely pulled a muscle, ouch. Shopping injuries, okay, no more clothes. I have to go through this. Realized I never tried this on, so that needs to happen. like grandma fashion. I was looking for a grandpa sweater, but I found this instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. I'm out of there. Wow, they were closing. I mean, over the intercom they lie. They're like, the store is closing in two seconds. And it's like 10 minutes before closing time. I guess they need to pressure people. 
Um, I have my loot. Looks like a lot. It's a decent amount. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and shopping and thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed your time. I sure did. Found some gems, found some comfort pieces, and I found some workout pieces, which is great. A few things. Not too many. I need enough because you guys know I don't do laundry every day and I used to work out five times a week. It'll come with time. But thanks again for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.